Jade Burns Show Pricks is playing at the Pleasance Courtyard six nights a week for the duration of the Edinburgh Fringe. Jade has had type 1 diabetes since she was four years old and calculated that in her life so far she's had 70,000 pricks of the medical kind. Pricks challenges often confuse perceptions about the condition of type 1 diabetes. I spoke to Jade after her show and started by asking how the show came about. I must have spoken to, it's probably close to 50 type 1s or parents of type 1s. Um, and so I did a lot of that though prior to me starting writing. I did a lot of that in two, two and a half years ago. It's probably when I started interviewing people for it. There's bits and most people's stories in there. I told the story, which I don't know if I should give too much away because you've got to go and see the show. Um, about the night before I was diagnosed and, uh, and a certain experience I had. And I think because of the, the comic value of that story, it, it kind of made it into the final cut of the show. Um, but you've got to see the show to find out. So <laughs> I um, started writing the show June last year. Um, I went over to Belfast and worked with this amazing writer, Shannon Yee. And then I've got all these brilliant people on board, like uh, Nick John Williams, the sound designer, Alison Ashton, the set designer. I've had a fab team of people around me that have brought a lot to it as well. What is type 1 diabetes? It's an autoimmune condition. Um, you have a gene and you pick up a certain virus. They don't know what the virus is yet. Um, you pick up a virus and that virus attacks your beta cells in your pancreas and it means that your pancreas can never produce insulin ever again. So there's no fixing it. It'll never ever produce insulin. Whereas um, with type two, it's, um, your pancreas can produce insulin. It's just not doing its job properly. And it's typically, typically lifestyle kind of influence. It's to do with um, excess body fat and things like that, typically with type two. Well, one of the main uh, contributors to like, having a high blood sugar is carbohydrates. So that meant like, you have to cut down on chips and pasta and, and things like that. And th things you, you take for granted and you, you know, you, everyone will be like, oh, I love chips and pasta. I couldn't go without them. And it doesn't mean that you can't eat them, but you have to inject insulin every time you eat them. I think like 90% of media um, use the term diabetes to describe type two diabetes. And it's, often quite negative media. I went to the diabetes support group where I live and um, yeah, I don't think I'm very, I don't think I'd be welcome back. <laughs> Basically they were all type two and they're all talking about how we deal with their sugar cravings. And they went to me, what do you do when you've got a sugar craving? And I went, well, I eat it. And then I just have the right insulin. And they were like, what? And I was like, I'm type one diabetic. And they were like, but so you can eat sugar. So then I, I educated them on what type one diabetes was, but I think, yeah, I didn't feel very welcome then. I think the easiest thing would be to call them two completely different things, change the name, and then as soon as you change the name, not everyone's not gonna automatically start making assumptions that they know what type one diabetes is. I'm on a trial at the moment for my Freestyle Libra. <laughs> Just, uh, Basically, they're just they're trialing it to, to prove that it's cheaper than pricking your finger, and it is. I think it. I think they'll prove it's cheaper than pricking your finger, and it'll be available on the NHS hopefully. So the best thing about it is the graphs, so I can see when my blood sugar's going up and when my blood sugar's going down. So I've got, and I can see what. So I can I can see I can work out the patterns and then work out my insulin my carb ratios based on that. You just scan it with your phone. It's great. The emotional roller coaster that you experience is like everything I've experienced over the past uh, 20 or so years is all put compacted down in a, a 45 minute to an hour long show and it's like wow all, all those things come up again it's brilliant it's very relevant and, uh, and all the experiences that Jade talks about in the show uh, I think as a type 1 diabetic it's very easy to relate to but for someone who's not a type 1 diabetic I think it's it's more important because there is that confusion, there's that blurred line or what have you between type 1 and type 2 and it just sort of like, it, op it, it would really open your eyes to understand a bit more. We're different to type 2, <laughs> um, we're different, it's nothing to do with our weight, it's nothing to do with sugar, it's a set of unfortunate circumstances that have led to us being type 1 diabetic, we've got a gene, we've picked up a virus. I don't really want to sound like I'm playing the world's smallest violin but 
I'd like people to understand that it's not the individual's fault that they've got this condition. It, it's it's all it, it's all down to look of the draw. Yes, partly genetics and, and things like that, but it could ha it could really happen to any one of us. Pricks is on at the cellar venue of the Pleasance Courtyard at 2:15 p.m. until the 27th of August.